Hello everyone and now welcome to a PvP overview of Arc Light Rumble. Um, first, I'm going to say I'm no expert at PvP. I've only played a handful of games, but some of the comments out there were wondering what is PvP like in Arc Light Rumble? And, well, am I going to have to drop hundreds of dollars in order to be competitive in PvP? And the quick answer to that is no. You do not need to drop hundreds of dollars um, in order to get competitive in PvP. First and foremost, all minis in PvP are at level 1. As soon as you unlock it, it which costs 350 gold, you have access to it at a, at a competitive level. And I, I give the air quotes because the second point is just as important. Minis at level 1 in PvP still have access to their talents. So every character in the game has a, has one of three talents eventually um, there's only two available right now but one of three talents that they can choose to further customize your character um, and then to help you know bring more variety to the types of decks out there if you're only allowed to choose seven characters but each of those characters can also have one of two or three talents it, it gives you a, a unique play style and hopefully there will be more depth in their strategies. Now, um, the talents themselves cost 500 gold and are unlocked after you get um, 30 skulls in the game. What are skulls, you may ask? It just means that you've completed 30 missions in the game. You can see that there's a skull. Let's see if I can, yep, right there. You see my mouse kind of right there, yeah. 31 um, or 30 skulls after you plead, complete a, a certain mission, you are able to un start unlocking talents and then buying them from the store. For instance, this is what a talent looks like in the store shop. Um, it looks a little bit different and, and as opposed to, say, just unlocking a card or buying experience for a card. If you're only in PvP, once you get to level 31, um, well, you don't really need the experience unless you want to further your progression and perhaps earn more gold to unlock more talents. But um, this is what a talent will look like. It kind of looks like, I don't know, a, a little box that in that in addition and then when you unlock it and um, this is the talent for dark iron miner after mining drop a proximity mine damages nearby enemies when touched and you also get a bonus level one bonus level for all of the pve stuff y your character will still be level one in pvp now um that's pretty much what uh, what pvp is you don't need to drop a lot of money you're not going to feel like someone who has higher level cards than you is beating down on you. That's just not part of the game. All the minis are at level one. So once you unlock a mini, it is yours and fairly competitive in PvP. Now, with that said, it wouldn't be a PvP, um, well, PvP answer question unless I actually try to search for a PvP game. So right now I am in the technical alpha. And I don't actually know how long it takes to find a PvP match. Um, overall, it's searching for an opponent, still searching. And, well, I, I guess I'll let it run for a minute or so. If nothing really happens... Oh, well, here we go. I didn't have to stall for that much time. Now, um, two of my characters have minis or have talents. My hero has a talent. Um, he basically gets, for all the Warcraft fans out there, he gets Divine Shield um, when he's low on health. And then from there, um, we, we figure out what's going to happen later. All right, so let's... Uh, let's... Oh. All right, so... A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. All right, let's go ahead and heal. I'm going to throw out the healer out front. Okay, oh, let's go ahead and let's put that right there. Um, come on, come on, attack them, attack them. And they instantly hatch, they do a whole bunch of damage. And now um, I should be in a great spot right there. They should be able, like that swarm of dragons does a lot of damage. And I should be able to continue to push. I may be able to actually put forth a squadron. Um, oh, what's it it's called? Squadron right there. And there we are. Is this my p first PvP match? Am I going to be able to drop another? Yes, another hero. And I think I should just be able to walk over my opponent now. I have two of my heroes, and them both together constantly heal. 
And then on top of that, I have an orc healer, an orc shaman doing a lot of healing. So this is a well PvP. Um, and this squadron of footmen and my paladin is going to be able to do a great job there. It was really the talent on the dragon hatchling. It spawns an additional hatchling. And as soon as one gets attacked, then they all then they all hatch. So they were able to AoE and destroy that, um, that squad of the core elementals. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's because I haven't gone over all of the minis yet. I haven't even unlocked all of the minis. There's still plenty to play and plenty to do, but the game is still a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys have questions in the comments below. Remember to hit like and subscribe if you've gotten to this part of the video and for more, well, Warcraft Arc Light Rumble content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys check me out again.